Today I'm going to be shopping online at fast fashion stores for the first time in like a year. Little disclaimer, I don't think I'm going to purchase anything. This is honestly going to just be my like reaction to like online shopping after not doing it for so long because I thrift shop and I literally because I literally thrift all of my clothes. So if you have followed me, you already know that, I'm sure. But I just thought this would be funny to go on a little shopping excursion with you guys. Let's see if I actually wanna buy anything. I probably won't honestly buy anything. It takes me like 10 years to decide if I wanna buy something online because I get really stressed out about returns and stuff and if I can't see the garment in person, that's why I love thrift shopping. I think I'm gonna do <laughs> Zara, delve onto Shein for a little bit, and let's do like Boohoo or Pretty Little Thing, you know? Cause those are all fast fashion. If you don't know what fast fashion is, please educate yourself. Fast fashion is basically awful for the environment, whether it be unethically made, whether it be awful materials, whether it be way being way too overproduced. And all these companies participate in some act of that. Let's see what Zara has to offer. I will put like my... I'll move over to this side so we can have an equal screen of me and then the screen recording right here. First of all, I hate the Zara website. Like, I've never bought anything online, Zara. They're trying to be so editorial with their... Like, how, where am I supposed to go? Is this woman's? Do I just click? Okay, let's see what their summer must-haves are. Okay, like... I get it. I like seeing how it's styled, but like I just want to see like a product photo. I don't want to see an editorial photo shoot for every single piece. See, I love satin dresses. This is a cute vest top. Not anything I haven't seen at the thrift store, so I'm not I would not buy that. This is definitely a ripoff of Mugler. Mugler. See, like prints like this are cool. I saw the thrift store probably would buy it, but how many times are you actually gonna wear that? How and it's $60. $60 for this top and this skirt. You have to buy them separate. $99 for this skirt. Zara is so bad for the environment. Collections every two weeks or every week, their production practices of producing so much is the issue in itself. Oh, and Zara's quality is awful. The pieces I've had, it does not last. Okay, like I enjoy the prints and I'm not saying they can't have really cool, unique prints. I'm just saying there's too many of them and how many times are there... Customers are actually gonna wear them because they're just like cheap versions of expensive items. Like I don't see anything I would actually purchase for that much money. This simple dress, I see that in 10 different colors everywhere. See, the one thing I've been tempted to purchase is their jeans. Like their colored jeans, that's just, they seem to fit really nicely. So I'll give them that for once. But like, first of all, they just, okay, I guess this is a summer must-have. So but what is this picture of lipstick? Like that's not a Oh, they, they sell lipstick now. Okay. It's too much. Like, I get the aesthetic. It's like a mood board. But when you're shopping online, I don't want to see this. Like, this is so stressful. Especially when they're not, like, product photos. I don't know if you're selling the shirt or the pants here. Like, I enjoy their, their editorials. Some of them are really cool. But I don't want to see it on your actual website to sell products. Like, this should be your Instagram. Okay. I enjoy the prints. I do. I don't think they're ugly clothing. It's just, who's going to wear this more than once? Who's, what? This looks costly appropriated. I don't know. I'm just, I would not spend long on this website. <laughs> I don't know how people do it. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at their swimwear. I did not know. I mean, I'm sure they, I've always had swimwear, but I've never really seen, like, okay, cut out bikini top. Where? How am I supposed to see? And you can't even, like, it doesn't even have the roller, rollover effect when you put on, put, like, your mouse over the thing. It doesn't even, doesn't even, and this is for cut out bikini bottom, and this is the photo I get. Oh, Zara, you, I'm sorry. I, am, I like these swimsuits. I would honestly buy this one. Like, I enjoy these swimsuits. I think they're nice and simple. They kind of kept it really nice and simple with their swimsuits. I don't know the quality though. That's something I would be very questionable of. I don't know how much longer I can spend on this website. I do enjoy their editorial aesthetic, but it should be their Pinterest page or their Instagram, not their website. Okay, let's look at dresses because I've seen way too many Zara dresses. 10 million times I'm not gonna see next year and that really bothers me. Okay, this is a black and white image of a dress. How am I supposed to know the true color of the dress if this is the image you give me first? They're trying way too hard with this. And like what- there's so much white space over here. I like this pattern, but like you're not gonna wear that more than once. For how much? hundred bucks. Like for a special occasion, I'd consider it, but just go to the thrift store. That's definitely something you can find in the laundry section. For two hundred dollars, I get it silk? Silk blended. It's not even full silk. Oh my gosh. 
120 bucks for Zara. Like, I'm sure Aritzia is better quality than this. Just Zara has such a bad reputation with, reputation with me for quality. See, this is a cute dress. If I wanted to buy something simple that I know I'd wear more than once, like as a cover-up or something, these would be good options. But I see so much at the thrift store. Like, it's not anything new. Or, like, even small businesses. Like, I feel like a lot of the des designs look familiar to me like i don't like what is this this is a waste of space like their models are beautiful but again they're all skinny i just realized that they're all skinny so zara's not getting much points for this like if i really wanted to buy something and if i was like getting paid to make youtube videos i'd probably buy something just for the sake of the video to check out the quality i'm gonna give zara like a literal four out of ten for their website i love their editorial shots just why is this your website let's look at their instagram i honestly don't follow my instagram zara official see they don't they're not even doing a good job with their instagram is it a makeup brand or a clothing brand and why are they doing like this is the zara official page and i always see is makeup shots i get if you're dropping a makeup line but like they don't even categorize their nice editorial shots well on here and like you put a stock photo with white borders out of all photos here you could have at least made it like an editorial layout or something they really need help. Not a fan. Let's go to Shein. If you shop at Shein, please reconsider your choices in life. <laughs> because I get it's cheap, but it's awful quality. Like, it's meant... These things are made to last not longer than, like, three wears. Like, is that awful quality? Because they want you to buy more, and that's the big issue. So, please don't shop on Shein. See, these look like they haven't changed. These look like all rip-offs of, like, other brands I've seen. Like, if I wanted a simple bikini, maybe, but I'd be so worried about the size. That's one thing with swimsuits. If I can't try it on, I'm really scared because I'm normally a small bottom and a medium top. They all come in sets with, like, one size, so how am I to know what my size is? Plus, this, like, ad, summer tops all under $8, is stressing me out. With the countdown, I hate when brands do that it's urgency like it creates such urgency that people are just sucked into like like Shein just doesn't have an aesthetic they just sell everything that they can see and remake and that's their that's their business model just remaking every single item of clothing on the internet for cheap I don't even like any of this stuff like this is trendy and I would never wear it I don't like that like some of this stuff would be cute but like this this is giving me 2014 Pinterest vibes and that's not even cute in my opinion like what the frack is that they're just trying way too much and there's too many items i don't understand how people shop on here and find what they want okay let's say i want a floral mini body dress. let's see what comes up like i feel like the categorization is so off okay they're giving me options but they all look the same in different colors and these are so ugly dude they just sell too many things. It's $15. You can't expect that to be good quality. And like Zara is such like a, such like a, that's such an issue because it's not worth that much money. And the fact that they can sell dresses for $15, that's concerning for labor purposes and for materials. And they're probably making these for like $3 or less. And just think about that. I just want you to think about how can a company make something that cheap? Especially when they're making stuff in such ginormous quantities. Okay, I can't look at Shein anymore. This stupid ad is stressing me out. I don't know what other... Let's go to Pretty Little Thing. I've never bought anything from Pretty Little Thing. Like, I'm not saying I'm never gonna shop fast fashion again. If I need to... If I'm going to the mall with friends or something and I see, like, a cute thing and I try it on and I can feel the quality, maybe I'll buy something. But it's not like I'm going to go out of my way to go to the mall or shop online at these websites. It's all about just making a change in your lifestyle with it. And trying thrifting. If you've never been thrifting, message me on Instagram and I will honestly go with you. Like, I just, I, if I can convert anyone to go thrifting instead of buy fast fashion, I will put my entire effort into helping you find pieces that you love. So if you ever have any questions or need advice on anything, please don't hesitate to um, DM me on Instagram or wherever or comment on this video and I honestly would love to have a conversation with you about thrifting. It's my favorite activity. I could talk for hours about it. Anyway, so honestly, like, I'm so open to helping people shift their shopping habits. Okay, first of all, I hate that the, the sale section is their first section. I hate that a lot. And they have a sale and going on in every section. That just proves how much items that they create. Okay, let's look at accessories. I never really look at accessories. Okay, Prada knockoff already. Sunglasses, I honestly would buy cheap sunglasses. I would have like maybe one good vintage pair if I was going to spend money on sunglasses just because sunglasses are something I just like to accessorize and kind of just like 
throw around. Um, I don't really use them for like sunglasses most of the time. So that's maybe something I would buy. Probably what? Okay, for, I, something, I don't, something else I don't understand is when fast fashion brands brand their own products. Like this pretty little thing beanie. Who's going to buy that and feel confident wearing that outside? Like, I don't know. This just seems like very like you want to promote you shop fast fashion? I don't know. And like all this stuff, 68% off. That just proves that they have the capacity to have such a wide profit margin and still put it on this much of a sale. Like they not even a loss to them because they're selling so much and they are producing so much that stuff has to go on sale dude okay like i'm sure that these chains burn it what is tarnish in like a week see better organize this website but like you click on tops and you're given how many items Six thousand nine hundred and two items how do people enjoy shopping on these websites mm, i don't understand six thousand and seven thousand items that just tells you it's awfully made produced and i don't even want to think about their production practices like, I'm sure these things fall apart. And honestly, half, like, if you're gonna get a button down for $85, are you kidding me? $85. Just go to the thrift store. How do you want to spend that much money? Like, you can find, like, I'm sure small businesses sell these kind of simple tops. Just, like, $35 for even just a basic t-shirt, go to the thrift store. You can make this top by yourself. For $50, that, that's the thing. They are so expensive. But then when they go on sale, it's like 70% off. And then people are more inclined to buy the fast fashion pieces because it's like, oh my god, such a sale. When they're probably making these items, and if they can put it on that much of a sale, they're making these items for like less than $5, I'm telling you. That's just 50% off everything. Use code WOW50. That's another thing. I see so many sale pop-ups, and it just promotes urgency. And that's such an issue with fast fashion, is promoting such urgency that... As a consumer, you need to buy all these things that you're going to wear literally once just so they can make more of a profit off their $3 made thing because they don't want to pay their labor workers. I'm sorry, I'm just rambling about how much I did not enjoy that experience. I was honestly going into it expecting to maybe want to buy something, but I can't even look at the, the website without like critiquing the price, the quality, the sale sections. It just makes me so angry as a fashion student to see that like people are still consuming such mass amounts of clothing that they're throwing in the back of their closets. Not saying that I don't over shop at the thrift store, but it's better to shop, over shop at the thrift store and over consume at the thrift store than to over consume fast fashion items that will just end up in the landfill in a year because they're going to fall apart on your body. But I do want to say if you do shop fast fashion, if you want to switch over, wear the heck out of your pieces you have bought fast fashion because that's the most sustainable clothes that you can ever own is the pieces you already own and wear the heck out of them. Um, that's the most you could do right now if just stop buying fast fashion, but make an effort to wear the pieces that you have bought fast fashion and don't be ashamed of it. The more you wear them, the more wear you get out of them, the more sustainable you could ever be with those items. Like throwing them out or giving them away just because they're fast fashion is not the answer. You need to wear the heck out of them, get your wear out of them. But yeah, if you want to know more about thrifting and how to kind of switch over and style your personal style to thrifting, I just posted a video about how to find your personal style through thrifting. If you want to go see that, I had a lot of fun filming that and I do a lot of thrift hauls. I will have a lot coming because I'm in lockdown in Ontario right now so I can't do more thrift hauls. But I post a lot on TikTok, I do a lot of thrift tips, thrift sustainable fashion. And my video cut out but thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye guys